<laughs> Thanks. No, I'm off camera. It's all about Heath. <laughs> okay, we're rolling. Um, last time I saw you was in Toronto for the film festival. And I like your uh, bracelet. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's very cool. <laughs> 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 like dice or something, yeah. little stones. It's it's kind of loud. Yeah. yeah, that's it. I'm, oh I don't, right. I'm not going to move my arm. Okay. I'm not going to move my arm. I'm going to... Okay. Is that your phone? <laughs> no. Okay, so last time I saw you... Hang on one sec, sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's my, my stupid phone. And you, you turn it on silent, but then it'll ring to tell you you have a, a message. Oh, that's useful. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> anyway. Very <Okay>. useful. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, I saw you in Toronto for Brookback Island. And time's up. No, it's <laughs> 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 just joking. Right. Um, yeah. And you were you were telling me that it, it was kind of a crazy time for you, and you were bearing, vi being very protective. Um, what's your take on the media these days? Are you liking us or not really? Um, I have nothing against you at all. Um, uh, I, I'm not sure what I was talking about when I told you that. I guess being protective, maybe of uh, uh, people with cameras, perhaps. But that's not you. You didn't walk in here with a long lens, and you're not photographing me on the beach with my family. You know, um, there's no reason for me to be protective uh, from you. Um, so I certainly don't dislike you. You know, um, yeah. But I guess I guess that's what I was talking about. Uh, yeah. Since you became a father, has your have you become even more protective of your private life? Definitely, yeah. Because it's become so invasive in Hollywood. Yeah, that's why I don't live there anymore. Yeah. yeah. Why? Why? When did you decide to to get away from it all? It feels like nine years ago, but it took eight to get to leave. <laughs> you know, um, I was based there for so long, but I was never there. I, I, I was always working outside of America, let alone Los Angeles. So, um, uh, yeah, it was just a long time waiting. Um, how much of a romantic are you? Um, uh, I, 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 I'd have to ask uh, my girl that question. I'm not sure. Um, It'd be silly if I could answer that question. No. You know? <laughs> yes, I'm quite the romantic. Um, I don't know. I guess I, I, I'm, I'm a fan of romance in its simplest form, you know. Um, um, you know, I'm not really a, tr a believer of kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, champagne and chocolate-covered strawberries as romance, you know, on a horse-driven cart. Um, I, uh, I think romance is... Uh, I don't know, it's a way of being, it's a, it's a way of treating someone, it's a way of respecting someone, I guess. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think it's the simple things that count. Why do you think that Venice is such a, a great city and is considered a, rom a romantic city? I'd say the fact that it's built on water has something to do with it. <laughs> and, the, and the gondolas, and uh, it's just beautiful. It's, um, it, it should only really exist in your imagination, in your, in your dreams, you know. And it's amazing that it's still afloat. Um, but I guess that I guess because just floating about. I, I guess when you're when you're in love, it's it, it's such a dreamy uh, state of mind, and Venice is such a dreamy city mm. that you can easily link the two together. Um, you've also you've said in the past that you would stop doing this if you stopped having fun. Is that still true? Uh, yeah, I just don't know why people find that hard to believe. It's <laughs> like. If you if you're not enjoying anything in life, why why continue to do it? It's not just me. I'm sure you do the same thing. You know. But you're you're a firm believer, though. You you seem like you live your day, you know, daily life, and you come it comes and you take it. Is it true? Are you like a very bohemian whatever comes? Uh, uh I guess I guess I am. Um, sometimes. Um, yeah. I mean, I I I fortunately love. What I do, I, I I thrive for the um, that moment between action and, and cut, and and where I can take myself and what I can learn about myself and other people. And I love the investigation into life that it forces you into. Um, uh, but you know, there's other things that counterbalance that. Fortunately, the passion I have for what I do outweighs the um, the frustration I have for those guys with the cameras. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was really nice talking to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>